It's a Friday fiesta. Here's what our listeners in the Target demo are up to. And yes, if you're watching on our simulcast at Watch DA on YouTube or on Twitch, I am dressed as a giant spicy pepper. A throwback to Radio Faux Week, where we didn't go to Arizona, but we still had a good old-fashioned desert party. Target Demo Friday leads off with AJ. Can I get a beam up, Dad? <laughs> AJ here watching Dad and my sweet Mama Roo, gifted from the Gidget of Gadgets, Kitty Linadol. Think about it, Dad. It might be a blessing they took Mraz off the show and you're headed over to Sirius. If I had to listen to Mraz on the first years of my life... I may also think that bears have tails. They speak Egyptian in Brazil, and I'd never be potty trained because I think it's normal to do an oopsie in my pants at 34. Love you, Dad, and sorry, Boyle. We couldn't work out that milk exchange. Ain't enough Odyssey coin of the galaxy, bro. Hashtag let's get spooky. I'm toast. It's spooky season, bro. Cigar smoking dude is listening on the Odyssey app from Holden Beach, North Carolina. I've been listening for four years. It's been awesome. Pappy's Bourbon and Estogian honor of an amazing show. I'm the alpha Boyle's looking for. Thank you, gentlemen. <laughs> How'd you get that Pappy's? Amanda Tynes weighs in. I've been listening since 2004, DA. I feel like I win for longest unless maybe my husband chimes in. I'm too shy. That would be former Chiefs and Giants Super Bowl champion kicker Lawrence Tynes and his wife Amanda, who I got to know, yeah, nearly 20 years ago. Joey Zanaboni says, DA, thanks for helping change the course of the trajectory of my career. Chorizo. Zanaboni, love it. That's incredible because you really did do that. Mitch in Wisconsin, I'm near Green Bay. I listen 100% to the podcast due to work. I've listened every day since launch. Good luck with the new show. Scientist. Wow. Brian is in Auburn, Alabama, but lifelong O's fan. Go O's. I'm watching on YouTube. DA fan for almost a decade. Happy trails to you guys, the whole crew. Hashtag college poops. Louis Uthay's in. Chris in Buffalo listening on YouTube. In 2020, my husband first put on the show for me and said, I think you'll like it. Since then, the show's been a part of our lives in an absolutely insane way. I know everyone involved will continue to do great things. Thank you for letting us come aboard. Oh, Rosa Reina. Hey! And Kristen in Buffalo had that amazing mural that she drew and, and colored for us of all of us, the, the cartoon of all of us around the spaceship a couple months ago, which is just freaking awesome. Amanda is listening in Queens through Twitch. DA, you will be missed. Thank you for being a great role model around here at the office, mentor, and an amazing person to work with. We look up to you, and I'm so happy to call myself a D-Alien. Come on. That was intern Amanda, which is very nice of her. Dixie Landana, this final Target demo Friday, which there might be one at the new place, by the way, guys. I'm listening on Twitch, gang. D-A, when I get home, I'm going to grab two ice-cold beers, twist them tops off, set one on the porch table. I drink the other for you in the show. Maybe I'll cry a little. Thank you, D-A. See you later from Redneck Land. Crunching and munching. Who are you kidding, Dixie Landana? I'll see you on Monday morning. Jay is in Appleton, Wisconsin, listening via Twitch. Been a D-Alien since 17. Family's everything. I'll follow family anywhere. We'll see you at the housewarming party in the new place on Monday. <laughs> Steve in Savannah Park, listening via Twitch. Listening since the first overnight days. Great ride. So many laughs. You guys all feel like family. Much love. The uh, milk and cookie round. Foxy's in rainy Manhattan. Been a D-Alien since 2019. Every day since March 2020. You guys get two days to say goodbye, and Mraz got five weeks. Oh, there goes a belt. Yeah, that does seem a little inverted. Upside down Mike in the office listening on the SiriusXM app. I'll be with you on the move. I've been a D-Alien since you moved to mid-mornings. Thanks for making my Isles videos part of the show forever. I became a fan when you slept at my house. Hashtag unpipe it. Baker Mazel. That happened. Justin says, good morning, D-Aliens. I'm coming in hot from Savannah, Georgia. I started a new job in 13, would start work at 5 o'clock. I'd catch the end of the mothership, and I've never left. Thanks for the memories, a lot of laughs, a few tears. I'm going to miss this show. An anti-chafing ball deodorant. Well, I, 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 I will be on the air on Monday, by the way. <laughs> Big Lair is listening in tw on Twitch in beautiful Twin Falls. I'm not saying goodbye, but I will continue to listen. I'm spending my weekend remembering this awesome show and watching football. Love you guys. Forever we heard... You right. I had fun with my radio show. Come on, man. You heard us right. 
Beat Rice. Listen to the show ever since I was seven years old back in the overnight days. Long story. I'm now a senior in high school. Well, I know that all good things must come to an end. Hearing this was a gut punch. I wish you all a bright future. Forget the bugs. I mean, boy, we helped Beat Rice grow up into what I'm sure is a very dysfunctional sports fan. Bobby Beaver is in Harrisburg. Listening on 96.5. Great show, DA. Been listening on my way to work for years. Going to miss the show in this form. Thank you guys for some great years. <laughs> Ed, also in Harrisburg. I found you guys in 17 when you were on 9 to noon. The most consistent show. Do a great job of mixing sports with fun. Love you, even if you take shots at the Rams on occasion. Good luck, DA. Pull my tail, sweetheart. <laughs> Pull it. Steven in South Carolina, watching on YouTube, just wanted to say thank you for making me laugh. Done I for the day. I think this is so dumb. Dumb, 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 dumb. Really risky, known as Knockout Neil. All the love, all the power. I guess I have to go to therapy now, because this was my therapy for about six years. <laughs> oink, oink. Nice. Perfect drop there. So sensitive. Brandon's in Florence, South Carolina. Listing on the Odyssey website. Listing since 2014. Can I get a Bebo? <laughs> JMM. Listing on Twitch. My favorite memory is Mraz crying when Callahan was traded to the song I Will Always Love You by Whitney. Good luck on the new show. I'll try to follow you guys. Thank you and Godspeed. This is facts. Gordon is sitting at the Montreal airport. This is Gordon Vancouver. Been able to listen to the last show. Several hours before I have to catch this flight. Enjoyed every minute of the craziness rolling in. That's Gordon from Vancouver waiting to oil up boil at the reunion next summer. I'm not kidding. Somebody get cold water. Rob, not in the 321. Watching on YouTube and Burpee NB. That's New Brunswick, I've been told. Been listening since 17. You guys got me through a lot of crappy mornings. Going to miss the craziness. I'll be following you guys and following you, DA. Good luck with Babcock. Hashtag, oh my. Hey, welcome. I'm Bob. Come on in. This is my boss. It's a bad chick, but I won't remind him of that. Jeremy says, congrats to the new gig. Listening in Fayetteville on Sirius XM. Been a full-time D alien for six years. I'm piping! Real RK. Been listening since the summer of COVID. Local affiliate change to you guys. I love the takes. I'm in Charleston, Illinois. That's in Central Illinois. DA, good luck. Gonna miss your takes on things when I'm headed to work in the morning. Blah, 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 blah. Carla with a K. Listening on KTIK. And I'm not crying. Thanks for being a different type of sports show. Thanks, CBS Sports Radio, for bringing us DA and the Hard Hat, guys. Going to miss this show, but wish you all the best. Not sure when I became a DA alien, though. Hashtag beam me up. I'm Andrew Boogie. <laughs> Dr. Phil Keto, as my pepper costume covers my face here. Listening from my office between meetings. A listener since overnights in 2013. Those shows got me through late night writing sessions in grad school. The pandemic shows kept me sane. Best of luck, guys, to everybody going forward. I have dementia. Dan of Mechanicsburg, been a listener since you guys were on mid mornings and caught some shows back in the evening days. By far the best show on radio. Can't wait for the reunion tour at Bob's Bar next summer. Stay in touch. Hashtag, <laughs> hashtag goose. Brandon Wheaton's a bum. <laughs> Casey's in Kent, Washington on YouTube today, but usually a 950 KJR. D alien for three years. It's been a hell of a ride. <laughs> Jay, 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 Jay is listening at work from on, on Odyssey. Been with you guys since day one, even though even through all the time changes. The level of quality and consistency everyone brought has never faltered. Thanks so much for the laughs. One last time. Get a get a beam. <laughs> Tiffany says, I remember walking my dog at 6 a.m. and hearing the cold open as we walked. Now he's gone. Now you guys are, too. Great memories. Hey, hey, hey. How's it going, DA? Oh, man, Tiff. That, was, that, that hit the heart right there. This was supposed to be a happy so long, and now i got to think about Tiff's dog passing away. <sighs> Everywhere Evan, listening on Sirius XM in the soggy Florida swamp. The aliens since 2018. Show's been a part of my routine forever. I'll stay docked to the mothership. Good luck to everyone. Embrace another ripple in the simulation. Hashtag beam me the F up. The host would like you to unmute your microphone. So it's interesting you can press because. Star six to unmute. <laughs> That's right. This is just another ripple in the simulation. Moist pork. Good morning. 
in Baltimore on Twitch at my kitchen table, not crying full time or since coming up two years. It feels like forever. Hate to see the family break up, but so happy I found you guys. Good luck to everyone in the new spots. You can run, run. And Moise Pork, thank you for the kind email as well. I haven't had time to respond to all of them, but I certainly saw yours and so many others, and I'll get around to it, I promise. Mike says, I'm listing in Erie, PA, home of the AA Eastern League champs, Erie Seawolves. Listen to the first two hours on Twitch. Catch the last two on a podcast. Been a daily and since you were capturing the evening shift. Thanks for the ride. Keeping the main thing, the main thing, and the main thing is playing the game. Nathan says, thanks for all the good times for the whole gang. Shout out to Mraz, and may the next step of the journey be better than the last. You got the chicken, you know, you got the salad, you got the green bean. Come on, man. Come on, man. Mayo is listening in Odyssey in Tacoma. Been listening for four years. Sad to see it go, but happy for your opportunity. Never felt so a part of the show before that. But the memories will always live on. Hashtag special stuff. Fuck you. And note that all the old episodes are archived in full on YouTube. So if you want to binge watch old DA show episodes, that is a possibility for you. Even just the 12 DAs, they're pretty amazing. And there's like four, five years of full shows on there. Kevin is on Twitch from beautiful Ponchatoula, Louisiana. Looking forward to the new iteration of the show. Going to miss my Twitch homies, but hashtag Twitch mob. Vocal combat. Andrews and Boise, listening at 95.3, the ticket. Thanks for being part of the morning routine. You guys started my day off right with laughs and positivity, so I'll be a fan forever. I don't even have a job, Damien. Starship Kodiak, watching on YouTube, Colorado Springs, the alien since 2014. Changed how I listen and what I expect from sports radio. Hashtag simply the best. Pretty sick. Pretty sick. And hashtag five oinks, which... Is the mystical, mythical five oinks. That guy you like. I go between the Odyssey app and 95.3 here in Idaho. Been listening since Mraz's first oopsie and celebrate the unsung hero in Swiss Army Knife of the DA show, Bogish. Good luck taking the mothership to Celestial Radio. And that's what's happening. Rob is an eerie PA. Been a DA fan since 2018. Hitting the gym, doing some color commentary for the high school team tonight on WGRP. Home of Greenville football. Love the show. Hashtag Friday Night Lights. Winthrop is steel. Zunick ahead of the pack. Slap dunk! Ostrich Eyes on Twitch and Fade Town. This is the Seinfeld Sports Shows. Never to be replaced. I've been a D-Alien since the Torg Bellinger call in 2018. And yet, uh... Larry is listening in San Francisco since about three years ago. Then switching over to YouTube for the later hours. Target Demo Friday. Here we go, brownies. Here we go. Oof, oof. Joe Mama. Damn, DA going to miss this part of the show, but can I get a beam up one final time? <laughs> Debbie says, thanks for all the boys you love. Whoa. Tim says, this is the best sports radio show on the air. Whoa. Everyone else, just time fill it to the next show. We'll miss you. Can Whoa. I get a final beam up? Tony, been a listener since 2017. Every year always got better. Bittersweet but happy for everybody. Get him out. Kirk the Cook, listening to the simulcast from Hershey, PA. Wish I found your show even earlier. I truly became a D-alien when you moved to the mornings. Thanks for all the laughs. Get him out. Tim is in, Tom is in New Hampshire on the Sirius XM app. A loyal D-alien for three years. I'm in sales, so I listen to the show while I'm on the road. Love the mix of sports and funny banter. Hashtag, I'm not on Twitter or Facebook right now. Get him out. And Jeffrey tweets, yo, DA, check it in, check it in from Philly on Odyssey. Been a D alien since early 2021. I'm looking forward to the refit of the mothership on Sirius. Hashtag, feel good and doing well. Giannis, out of the rumbo. Out of the rumbo. <laughs> That's your target demo, Friday. Feel good, do well. Well, I feel good, and I'm doing well. I'm going to try to race through some calls here. Bouncing baby boys and boys. See, good morning, sir. And then Mr. D.A. What's up, bud? Well, I'm not going to call and say goodbye, because I'm going to follow you to the end of the earth like most of the D. aliens would do anyway. Thank you, sir. But what I will say, I do want to throw some appreciation your way on behalf of the Boise listeners, because we don't get a whole lot of love for the Broncos outside of this region. And you kind of make everybody feel included. And your trip to Boise meant so much to so many people here. 
and through everything else, you've continued to show love and express how much you loved it here. And, you know, all the D aliens that, you know, listen daily, you know, we've all kind of collectively become this fun little Twitter group of friends, but you know, the, the love and appreciation you have for all your fans from all demographics, from all regions of the country. I mean, it's just amazing. And, you know, you don't get that kind of love on any other show. And honestly, you're the only show I've ever called in on and been a part of. And it's been a fun journey, and I've loved every second of it. You guys definitely, you know, like every other caller has said, you guys, you know, jumpstart our morning. You bring so much fun and laughter and, you know, different takes to sports. It's It's been an amazing thing to be a part of. And you know, I just want to say thank you for that, D.A. Thank you, brother. That means a lot, man. It means a lot. And let me tell you this. You walk through life and you hope that you help people. You hope that you touch people. You hope that people like you. You hope that you are positive in their lives. But you don't really know. You know, a lot of people don't say thank you, not because they don't feel that appreciation, but because it's sometimes hard. And it's sometimes hard to be vulnerable or they just don't get around to it. And you got to know, man, I feel like I hit the jackpot by finding a job where people can reach out to me and say, thanks. I get to touch a big audience with the things that I love and my sense of humor and my personality. So these couple of days and all the messages on Twitch or YouTube or email or Twitter or whatever, it is incredible. It's incredible to hear thank you that many times. It really is. And I only say this because it's overwhelming to feel it come back to you. But just as an amazing lesson, if you give it out, you get it back. And that's what I was taught by my mom and dad. You know, you treat people the way you want to be treated. If you put out positivity, you'll get positivity. You put out negativity, you'll get negativity. And... I've always tried to approach the show with positivity, sense of humor. Don't take yourself too seriously, but take the job seriously. Take the job seriously. Don't take yourself so seriously. And if you if you appreciate everybody else, they usually appreciate you back. And that's, man, that is really cool. It's really cool. And so when we went out to Boise and we saw that love, it's like, wow. Can you believe this many people listen to the show? Can you believe this many people care about the show? And... There is a thing in this business where people become cynical, and you see it quite a bit. And I think it's because if you're around sports long enough, you start seeing kind of the seedy underbelly of it a little bit, and it it pulls you away from maybe your childlike emotion and passion for it. You start seeing the adult part is kind of icky. And people become cynical because job becomes a job and it's very cutthroat and competitive. But my inspirations for doing a show has never been actually a sports radio inspiration. It's been entertainers that I loved watching. I mean, I my, my favorite entertainer of all time is Johnny Carson and the Tonight Show that Johnny had because Johnny was so sharp and so smart and so thoughtful but he never took himself seriously and let every guest from the biggest superstar in Hollywood to the old grandma that had a potato chip shaped as George Washington. Everyone got a minute. Everyone got respect. And he loved them dearly. I loved Pee Wee's Playhouse. And we lost Paul Rubens recently. But the idea that you could have a home with all these kooky, crazy characters that just kind of showed up and they all had their own personality or inside joke or the hat tip that's a little bit of a wink of we know this is ridiculous I loved that it was so absurdist I absolutely loved it and I love those old sports centers back of the 90s that Patrick Olbermann Craig Kilborn those guys Rich Eisen I felt like that was the way I watched sports I loved it I was a sports fan but it was always it's all good it's great because sports is fun, and there's always a joke to be had. It's not supposed to be argumentative or divisive or, you know, fire this guy. And, of course, there's some of that that always comes up in sports. We've certainly done that on this show as well. But the overall tenor just has to be love and appreciation, and I got only that for, man, 11 years around here. And even years before that in my my local career in Fort Myers, Florida, and Kansas City, and Boston, and 
and Miami. So, man, I I hit the jackpot, and I just say thank you for everybody saying thank you back because, man, it's it means a lot. It really does. And if I could leave this show with anything, it's that I hope I left it better than I found it. You know, I, I really believe in that, that you go places and you try to help people and lift people up and make them happy and try to give them some some guidance or help if they need it. And you try to fix things that are broken and you try to just, you know, leave it better than you found it. And I hope that the morning slot here and all the slots we had behind it, the network in general, is better today than it was January 2nd, 2013. That was my intent all along. And so these last two days have been freaking awesome. And as I sit here with my poignant thoughts at the end of an 11-year run on CBS Sports Radio, the greatest job I've ever had, I sit here in an oversized spicy pepper costume, and it seems to be the perfect metaphor for this show. It was heartfelt, it was honest, it was sincere, but it also always laughed at itself. That's all I ever wanted. And we all laughed together. So this has been a lot of fun. Bogues, final sign-off. How you doing? Uh, thankfully, you're dressed like that, which is easing <laughs> easing the uh, the heaviness of the moment. But I love you, and thank you for letting me hang out with you for all these years. Um, I can't say I'll be listening because you're our competition now, but I'll be paying attention for sure. Thanks, dude. Love you back. Love you, Pete. Love you, Cat. Love you, Boyle. Love all the D-Aliens. Love Mraz. This has been a hell of a ride. And I sign off today at 10 a.m. I'll be back on the air at 6 a.m. on Monday, so I'm really not going away. It's just another place to find the hot pepper and the Wizard of Oz do stupid things. Be good. Be good to one another. Feel good and do well. Well, I feel good and I'm doing well. I'm D.A. The Mothership Disconnects.